hi everyone let's provide a solution to this problem n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 equals 80 okay this is very simple because if you look at this number here you can express this number here in this form okay so that is what you're going to do so this is n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 being equal to 80 is 64 plus plus 16 right and if you look 64 can appear in this form and 16 can also appear in this form so i will now write n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 equals 4 to the power of 3 plus 4 again to the power of 2. Now if you look at the left hand side and the right hand side, you will see that our n is already 4. But if you conclude at this point, you will not be able to get the other solutions. So let's bring this to this place. We have n to the power of 3 minus 4 to the power of 3 then this is plus n squared then this becomes minus 4 squared and then we equate to 0 so we're going to deal with this and this separately remember our a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared right so this is what we have and we will be expressing this right here in this form okay so we're going to express this in this form so we have a minus b which is n minus 4 now into a squared that will be n squared plus a b that will be 4 times n and it's 4n then plus b squared this b squared is now 4 squared and that will give 16 okay then we go over to this difference of two squares and from there we will have um, brackets n minus 4 into n plus 4 and everything equals 0 now there's n minus 4 here right let's bring it out there's n minus 4 here and there is n minus 4 there so it comes out as the common factor here we now have n squared plus 4n plus 16 then plus open bracket here we have n plus 4 we close this and we equate to 0 now we have n minus 4 here then here we're going to have n squared plus 4n plus 16 right then we can just open the bracket right if i let me reduce remove this so we are opening the bracket so we have n plus 4 directly okay and this is equal to zero so we have n minus 4 the common factor then in the brackets we'll now have n squared plus 4n plus n that will give us 5n then plus 16 plus 4 that will give 20. now everything is equal to zero so it's either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero but i'm going to pick this one first so our n minus 4 is equal to 0 then n is equal to 0 plus 4 and our n is equal to 4 this is one of the solutions now to get the other solutions we'll pick this quadratic expression and equate it to 0 so we'll have n squared plus 5n plus 20 we will now equate to zero and we will be using the formula to deal with this this is quadratic equation 
so we'll have square root of okay i think one of the most difficult things to do is remembering the formula so this is not how it is we have n to be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a right so let's continue okay so this is the formula our a is 1 b is 5 from the equation and c is um 20. so let's put this value into the formula so that our n will now be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared because b squared will not be 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 20 then this is divided by 2 times 1 now our n will be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 80 that is 4 times 1 times 20 is 80 and then we divide this by 2 times 1 and that is 2 okay so our n now is minus 5 plus or minus square root of negative 55 that is 25 minus 80 then we divide this by 2 now our n will be minus 5 plus or minus we'll pick out this negative okay if it comes out it becomes i outside the root so we now have root 55 this is still divided by 2 and this is a 2 in 1 solution okay so let's get the complete solutions together we had n1 i mean the first value of n to be 4 then our second value of n will be from here minus 5 plus i root 55 divided by 2 this is the second value then the third value n3 will be minus 5 minus i root 55 divided by by 2 so this right here are the three solutions to this particular equation n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 equals 80 but mind you it is this that is the real solution these other two are complex solutions thank you for watching